Clark Bridge that connects Oregon and Washington is closed for the next several days, and it's forcing one local business to get creative to get their employees to and from work without sitting in hours-long traffic. Fox 12's Drew Marine is in Rainier to tell us more about the closure and how one business is adjusting. The bridge will be closed for the next several days to replace worn down joints and a fractured floor beam. But given it's the only bridge for the next several miles, people need to drive to Astoria or Portland to get to the next bridge or wait hours in line for the ferry. But Rightline Equipment came up with a quicker way to get their employees to and from work. Rightline Equipment is right under the Lewis and Clark Bridge in Rainier. They have more than 300 employees who help make attachments for forklifts for companies like Nissan and Caterpillar. All of their work from design to welding pieces together is done on site, and at least half of them commute to work from the Longview area. But this week, the bridge is closed to cars as the Washington Department of Transportation makes improvements. The Department of Transportation are replacing a fractured floor beam and two steel expansion joints that have been worn down. The joints allow the bridge to expand and contract when it's cold or hot out. They've been talking about it for several months, but about a month, a month and a half is when we knew. And, uh, First thought was deciding if you stay open. If you do stay open, what's the best way of transportation? Do you go boat? Do you bus people around? Do you uh, uh, just shut down for the week? With the closure, a typical 15-minute commute has turned into hours. So how are people commuting to work or getting where they need to go? There are a few options. People can drive to Astoria and cross over that way or head to Portland to take the I-5 bridge and back around. The third option is waiting for the Waukiacum County Ferry that can fit 20 cars at a time. The line can get long, especially during rush hour. Depending on what time they come to work and leave for work, it's anywhere from three to four hours to, to commute here. But the folks at Rightline came up with their own solution so their employees could avoid all of that. The boss had a crazy idea of maybe we could fly people back and forth with a helicopter. They're renting helicopters for the week, flying employees to and from the Kelso Airport, and touching down right on their property. They say it was important for them to take care of their employees. So we tried to find a way to be to create a, an environment so employees could get over here. It should be efficient and maybe create an experience for them that they won't get to experience again. And keep their schedule on track as they're already booked up with work for the next two years. So we have to uh, do it all ourselves. So if we're not here doing it, it's just not happening. The closure is expected to last until Monday, but could be done as soon as Saturday. In Rainier, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.